All right, so week three as an army mom. Um, I got my first call yesterday from my daughter. Um, I was so excited, so many emotions. It was so good hearing her voice. Um, you know, we thought that we missed the time because I was asleep, and she called me, and I missed the call, but I called her right back like two minutes later, and she thought she only had two minutes, but they wound up giving her 15 minutes. Um, I can just definitely say this has been one emotional journey for me week to week. I actually got a letter, my first letter from her on Saturday. And her letter was just made me cry my eyes out. Um, her first page was like very different, not like what I know from her. And then her second page was very hopeful. You know, she's talking about how she's learning how to take apart a gun and put it back together and she really is infatuated with guns, so um, that's something she always wanted to do in the military is to deal with the guns. And um, so that was really good. And then I heard her. She let me know she made a friend. So she has a friend that's currently in her same platoon. Um, but it was really good. I'm not going to lie. It was so good to hear her voice. It gave me a lot of reassurance. She still is not fully happy, but I get it because, you know, this is a big change from being, like, spoiled to not being spoiled. Um, but I, she is such a hard fighter. She's, such, she's so determined that I know she's going to do amazing by week 10. You know, week 10 is going to be something totally different. Um, so, like I say, today is week three. Um... And I, I cry every day. I'm not going to lie. I do. I do. Um, but I, I started to tell myself I'm not going to cry when I make these videos because these are like diary entries for me. I do make videos that I have cried on. I just don't, you know, post them um, just because I'm an emotional wreck. And then for me, it's like something for her. Me and her can go through and look at and see when she gets out, like just the different emotions that we both went through and that we were both feeling. But I was so proud. She said she went to church and she enjoyed it. And, you know, she was brought up in the church. So for her to go back and enjoy it without me, to, you know, holding her hand to go to church, I'm very proud of that because you're never alone. God is always with you. And she knows this. She's been taught this. So for her to do it on her own, I'm very proud of that. Um, so I'll be, I've already sent three letters. <laughs> I'll be writing another one today and sending it off tomorrow. Um, but yeah, she was, you know, telling me that because she, everybody had got mail already. She hadn't got her mail. So I hope she receives all her mail this week. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited to be able to hear her voice. It means a lot to me.